We invited neurologist Dr. Carlos Portera Cayo here today to help better explain PSP. And you know, Patricia started to explain some of the symptoms that her father was having. This is something you have to have a high index of suspicion. That's but, right. But tell us, tell us what PSP is, what area of the brain it affects. Yeah, so PSP is a neurodegenerative disease. So it's in the same category as Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease. Um, there's additional symptoms. Uh, with PSP that are not found in Parkinson's, um, like um, this uh, inability to move your eyes um, in all directions, but especially vertically. Um, and so these patients have trouble looking down at a plate of food or when they're walking down the stairs. They have problems with speech. Uh, they have problems with swallowing. And so the reason that it's much more severe than Parkinson's disease is that, um, first of all, it progresses much more rapidly, whereas somebody with Parkinson's disease as you know, can live 20 or 30 years with a disease, people with, Park with PSP progress much quicker. And uh, usually, you know, on average, can uh, usually die by eight years after diagnosis. And the key here and the reason that Trish is so pas passionate about this is that there is not a treatment right now. You can go to curepsp.org for more information on PSP as well as other related brain diseases.